Yes, it's the next day. Yes, I know I sucked at vlogging yesterday. Yes, I get it. So, thought we'd catch up today while I do my makeup for today. And then, then I edit this to upload today. We have a look Bitches. Okay, I'm sitting here. I have a phone appointment later with my endocrinologist, as Sean Tall would call No, it's my endocrinologist. There's no such thing as an endocrinologist. It doesn't exist, okay? There's a little dot here on my screen that keeps bugging the fuck out. Okay, I think it's gone. Sorry about that. I had to fix that because I was going to keep looking over and I was like, that's not going to happen. So... I'm watching this drone shot of that building that's in LA that everybody's been tagging. You know, the giant skyscraper. It's got graffiti all over it. Well, I'm watching it, and there's this window that pops up, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is that foodie? Look at the shit. Who does that, who does that look like in a hijab? Hmm? Hmm? Look, the, it even has the fucked up eyelash. Is somebody fucking with us here? Like, this looks like foodie in front of the couch in Kuwait. It's like they did two of them just in case we didn't recognize one. We could, we'd recognize the, I just, I don't know. Not in that out, we all cough. But, hmm. Okay, so, like, it's probably something different, but, like, I just saw that and I'm like, you watch Girl World? Why does that graffiti, that street art, look like foodie? Low-key, in a, in a hijab. In front of the couch in Kuwait. Why does that look like her? Now granted that this 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 little caricature of her has more style. Because we know Foodie has zero style. No lifestyle. No fashion style. No hijab style. No style. No lifestyle. No, nothing. Right? Mm. This is a head scratcher guys. Yeah, so I'm just watching some YouTube trying to relax. I I don't like doctor's appointments. The phone appointments are a lot more tolerable, but, you know, I got medical PTSD and shit like that. So, like, I know it's stupid sounding, and I do get through it. I am talked to a therapist about it. I know how to keep it moving. It still sucks, though. It still sucks. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... I just chill, probably do some art, listen to music. My normal day, so... My video is still uploading. It's processing. Reacting to the jury foreman in the Jennifer Grumbly case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I don't know what she's thinking. Thinking, like, no one's going to recognize her. Like, I'm still, like, baffled by that. Because either she's done that look on purpose to throw people off. Or people are going to notice her. Like, that's a pretty unique makeup style. Like... I'm all kinds of confused, you know? Like, is this foodie? Why is the jury foreman think no one's gonna recognize her? I got questions. Yes, it's the next day. Yes, I know, I sucked at vlogging yesterday. Yes, I get it, so. I thought we'd catch up today. While I do my makeup for today. And then, then I edit this to upload today or something. I don't know, so. Very much need all the coffee today. Damn, so. If you guys have been following that missing helicopter, they found it. And, yeah, everybody perished. That's so sad. That's so sad. And then, um, trying to think of anything else that's been going on. Is any foodie drama coming? No. Just that picture I saw in that skyscraper. I was watching that clip back this morning when I seen what footage I have, and I'm like, that is weird. What is that? 
what is that I, I don't know like I'm saying like people are painting foodie beauty on skyscrapers Taylor Swift is making songs about her I don't know it's just it's a lot so anyway so today tonight we are meeting up with my street team because I have stickers coming in the mail they should be here Maybe in my next vlog, we'll go to the mailbox. You'll have to tune in for that, so, yeah. Let's see, what, how have I, I switch up how I do my wig capping every day, every time. My wig capping. Because I just haven't figured it out yet. Because, like, with my pink wig, because I like to wear it without, like, a hat a lot of times, I feel like I need, if I line the wig caps up just right, because of this kind of matching my skin color, the wig caps, that I don't need to put makeup on the hairline. And if I don't have to put makeup on the hairline, I ain't going to do it. Because then the, the wig's going to get dirtier faster and I have to wash it more and that's a pain in the ass. I, I really like dry shampooing it and spot cleaning it right now, I'm going to tell you. So, get all my, oh my god, my hair. Look how, like, okay, my hair has been so poofy because of the... Um, weather. I know. You're like, how are you going to get your hair up in there, Keisha? Watch and learn. So, I just kind of, yeah. I had a hair, a regular, you know, those hair nets. But it's black. And I tried to find a, you know, a neutral colored one. Because I've seen people with those. But I can't find it. So, I kind of just do this. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll take another wig cap and I'll put this on top of this to flatten it out some more. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is her. So I like mold my hair in here. <sighs> What's going on with you guys? Let's see, yeah. So tonight we're meeting up with my street team. One of them. Their mother runs like a booth sometimes. She sells shit at like these farmers markets. And she was telling her son, you know, like, hey, you know, you're you should really have Keisha come over here and leave some stickers. I'll make sure to point them out if I'm there on Friday. She doesn't always go, I guess, but she's been going a lot here lately. And so Tip, tip if you want to go and you want to try and find her. She makes handmade shit, okay? She makes handmade shit. <laughs> Which is like everybody. She doesn't grow shit. She doesn't sharpen shit. She, um, makes shit, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, she was saying that, like, that those are good places. And that's why we've been kind of hitting up. The places where those farmers markets are. Which I need to throw her some free shirts for that tip. I think it was a great tip. God, my hair looks crazy, doesn't it, in this thing? We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. And then <laughs> I'll put a third cap on. Sometimes they put in more. I don't know. I like. Making it flat and opaque as possible, and I feel like this does it. So, okay. ah. Look at that. We're almost there. Okay. This weekend, I was thinking we could get out and take some pictures, some it outside in the flowers it's really 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 pretty uh the hills are already turning green and shit so it's gonna be a super bloom type spring <coughs> god my hair i have the craziest hair it's always all over the place because it's, it's curly and it's there's moisture and it's frizzy okay sometimes i just leave my hair ears tucked in <laughs> until i you know put my wig on Okay, good enough. Yeah, see, I just kind of willy-nilly just stuff my hair into a, the net and go. <laughs> I 
it's so funny. Everybody thinks that that blue wig is is real. They're like, your real hair is so pretty. How often do you dye it? Oh, it's a wig. It's a wig. It's a cheap Amazon wig. There are lots of tutorials on how to make those cheap Amazon wigs look good. Yeah, I think the key is really like cutting like those hairs around your face and kind of shaping it for you. Yeah, it took me a while to get that get there, but I did. And plucking at the front and stuff really helps it. Okay. Let's start on my makeups. Uh, it's been a few days for me, huh? Okay. It's fine. I don't have my contacts in because my eyes have been dry as fuck from allergies. And so I haven't been putting on my contacts. So it's like when I go to do my makeup, I'm like, oh, I can't see. Can't see shit. Hmm. Did any of you guys watch Pretty Basic this week? I didn't. And then they did a crossover with uh, Ashley and Taryn's unsolicited podcast, which... Uh, it's kind of weird to have people give advice on shit who have never really had any life experience. And that is something I've noticed with Alicia and her gang a lot, is this whole wanting to give life experience when they don't have it. This whole, like, I want to give big sis advice. I want to give, you know, this advice. Na, 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 na. I don't know. It just kind of, I don't know. And then the other thing that kind of bothers me is that they have a whole podcast off of people sh giving them their stories for content. Like, the whole unsolicited podcast is basically them using other people's stories for um, clicks and views and money. Did you ever think about that? I've always thought about how weird that is when you think about it that way, that like really like, there's one podcast and it's like called Other People's Stories or something and I'm like, yeah, other people's stories for fucking clout. Like, it's weird. Now like, yeah, I talk about other people and stuff, but it's weird when people who aren't famous are literally giving up these personal stories and then they're anonymous too these stories are anonymous which makes me wonder if they're actually really real stories because um there is one podcast it was a paranormal podcast i used to listen to i won't give you the name of it but i stopped listening to it when i started feeling like all of the stories were written in the same kind of tone they had the same kind of writing style and a lot of them and it's like, is this a real story? Did they make this story up for clout? Is this a real thing? And then I noticed that Alicia Remy kind of started doing this on their podcast where they would have other people give them their stories about shit, but then they would clickbait like it was about themselves, which I did not like. I don't like clickbait like that, where it's like, clickbait, like, I like clickbait, Peter Mon, oh, Philip. He jumped off and brought the pillow of the the blanket with him. And it was like, huh? Are you okay? Cats. So anyway, so yeah. I I don't like it. Like, okay, Peter Mon will add will do clickbait like the most shocking thing ever, or something like, this really happened, or blah blah blah. And it kinda it relates to what he's talking about, but he's amping it up. He's amping the energy up, right? Or, um, we need to discuss this. And then he's talking about, like, ranting about Christmas shit being out early in, um, September or some shit, right? That's just amping up the energy, you know? Like, that's the kind of clickbait, or I'm like, where you amp it up a little bit. You amp up the energy. You amp up the comedy level just a bit. But, I've noticed, though, that... People will then take it and clickbait like the story is about them, but it's not about them. It's actually about someone else. You know, like, oh, my secret affair or another pregnancy scare. And it's actually somebody's friend who had the pregnancy scare. I saw that on their video, like another pregnancy scare. Oh, hold on a sec. I think Philip needs help. Philip, do you need help? Philip, do you need assistance, sir? 
Sir. Sir, do you need assistance? I think he's fine. I think he's fine. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it's weird. So, today's a blue day. I like my blue. My blue wig. Philip, do you need help? I'm like halfway done with this eyebrow. Do you need help? He's fine. He's over there like murring and stuff. Sometimes Noe will be under the couch and he just starts talking. I have never had a cat who just sits there and talks to you. That's Noe. Noe will just talk to you. And then if you're not talking back, he'll escalate it. He'll escalate it by screaming, but you've heard that screaming before, so. Eyebrows, eyebrows. I wonder what else is going to happen today. It's just the Thursday, I guess. The exciting thing was that trial. Everybody's watching the Harmony Montgomery trial with the father. I haven't been following that one. The kid stuff's really sad. Um, Hold on a second. Let me switch. I'm back. Yeah. Worked out. Battery died. Now my no Freaking allergies, I swear to God. Anyways, let's see. There we go. Battery is charging. Okay. Nice. So yeah. What was I talking about? I don't know. YouTube's been dry. It's been boring. I saw Peter Monk covering some James Charles. Whatever. I just, I, I can't look at James Charles anymore. I'm so disappointed in him. I'm so disappointed in everybody about that. Just, if anybody, you know, it, 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 the only way I'm ever going to talk about that again is if somebody wants to help me get a hold of victims so that they'll go forward to their police juris their local jurisdiction so that we can get the ball rolling in LA with the LAPD about James Charles. But you know, like there is no other creators, no drama channels, nobody who wants to help out with that. Nobody, nobody cares. Everybody just sits around and goes, there's nothing we can do about it. He's immune, so. It's like James Charles is a US diplomat or something, you know? Just, I don't know. And I'm disappointed. I liked James Charles before all this fucking shit came out, too. I liked him. I liked that he used fucking makeup as an art. Because that's me. And he disappointed the fuck out of me. So, yeah. And so I try to do something. But it, nobody wants to help out. Everybody just wants to make a fucking video about it. Collect views, make 30 grand off the payroll like Ashley Kyle. Such a bullshit thing. Okay. Eyeliner. Huh. Ah. Sorry for awkward silences. You know, wing eyeliners, like, uh, it's like we're doing heart surgery right here, guys. This is like brain surgery of the, uh, makeup world is, um, doing this eyeliner here. Uh. I think the patient might make it. Okay. Good enough. Yeah. Good enough. Next eye. <laughs> Like I said, sorry for the awkward pauses and silences. 
but it's like I'm 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 doing a artery resection right here. <laughs> Heart valve. Okay. Not the best wings, but I think they'll still get us off the ground at takeout or take off. <laughs> you know, wing eyeliner. I guess I could fix it with the eyeshadow. But I don't want to. Huh. Okay. Do you ever smear your eyeliner so it does this and then you fix it? I do that all the time. You know, you get this really nice straight edge when you do that too sometimes. I totally do that and then you kind of like fix it then you go over and you kind of fix the point a little bit oh yeah look at that shit yeah much better much better that's what the good thing about putting your foundation and shit on last so which is what we're doing now <laughs> I like that I've gotten better at doing my makeup and shit yeah good enough good enough ah Oh, huh. Like, what else is going on the YouTubes? Open up! I don't know. I really like enjoying watching YouTube with you. Now, last night, I know I didn't, like, vlog or anything, but I did watch YouTube. Um, I got a... Which, did I tell you about my indoctrination appointment? My endocrine appointment? My endocrinologist? I didn't... I don't know what you can talk about. Okay, so... I... Talked to him yesterday, and my blood work was actually really good. He said everything was good, except for my iron. My iron was low, which that's happened before. So, I was really excited about that. It was just my iron. So, yeah, Keisha's doing good. My hormones are all normal. My prolactin normals are normal, which is what, you know, was my issue. Because I have the prolactinoma on my pituitary. And so, what will happen with the prolactinoma is when you get that on there, it'll start overproducing prolactin. Which, women are not, no, men don't pro produce, aren't supposed to produce prolactin. Women produce prolactin when they are pregnant or they're going to be having a baby. Um, so... My body, for the longest time, thought it was a nine-month pregnant woman. My hormones were were higher than a pregnant woman's. Yeah, no wonder I couldn't fucking lose weight for like ten fucking years, starving myself. So, yeah. So, yeah, those are normal. <laughs> yeah. But I just gotta get my, what's it called, under control. My, um, iron, which, yeah. So yesterday I had a migraine, and then I woke up with it in the middle of the night, too, so. Ooh, one thing I think I linked in the playlist that I found interesting was, okay, you know that I'm into anime, right? So I'm into anime. There is a story going around about a woman who says she wrote, like, some... I forget how many frames of the new Studio Ghibli movie. I can't remember the name of it. Something in the Huron 
I don't know. I don't remember the name of it, but the new Ghibli movie coming out, that's Miyazaki's retirement film. This woman said, and she's from like South America, she said she did like so many frames of the movie and I was just like, wait a minute, we've all seen those like little documentaries where it shows Miyazaki in that fucking studio, that animation studio with all the other people in Japan. I'm like, you were doing this like what from your house? And what? It's just really weird. And so it finds out that Studio Ghibli comes out and goes, we don't know who the fuck this is. We didn't. Who is this? They're like, we don't know her. She didn't do shit. This lady's been faking working for Studio Ghibli. What? What? Of all things to pretend to be fraudulent about, you're pretending to be fraudulent about being a Studio Chipley animator. Like, we weren't gonna figure that out. I, I don't understand that. That's like the guy who said he was a Rockwell. That's a Lifetime movie, I should find that. Maybe I'll find that for the next vlog. But there is a Lifetime movie about a guy who was a con artist, and he said he was a Rockefeller, and people believed it, and I think he got married too. That's an interesting one. Then, I've also been thinking about this story. I can't remember where it was that I was thinking about it. Okay. It must have been about spies. But there is this guy. I think he was like a French diplomat or something. And he, there was a Chinese spy who pretended to be a woman. Pretended to have a baby with this man too. Just to be a spy for China. I believe it was China. It was the craziest story. I'm going to have to look for that for the next vlog this afternoon. This isn't going to be on your playlist. This is going to be on their next playlist. So you're going to have to subscribe. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. Maybe a little more stuff here. Bloop. So yeah. Um. This dude thought he had a baby, and then this kid, too, this kid was, like, kidnapped, too. I remember they, like, they didn't even know where this kid came from. They didn't know where anything. It's a crazy case. It is a crazy case. And it's like, how did he not know? How did he not know? He thought he had sex with this person, and he had no idea that it was a Chinese spy that was a man. And then it later came out that, like, well, this was actually someone who was raised as a woman in China or something. I don't know. It was just, it got super complicated later on, but, hmm, it's looking pretty good. It got really complicated, the story, and I just don't remember all of it, so I'm going to have to look into that. But, yeah, that, it just, that just kind of reminds me of, you know... <sighs> Of these people who are like con artists and they pretend to be someone from this like, like a Rockefeller. It's like, how are we not going to know you're not a Rockefeller? Like, damn, that was a Lifetime movie too. I'm going to have to find that. But I always find those so interesting. And then I think, I think the one about the guy pretending to be a, a, or a woman who was a spy for China. I think that actually is a movie as well. Madam Butterfly? I'm gonna have to look into some shit. Let me, like I told you, I'm gonna have to find some shit. I'm gonna, have to get, I'm gonna have to go look in this afternoon once I get my editing done, which it's so hard, but it's not hard. It's not hard. This is not hard, Alicia. This is not hard. You better DM me. We're all about to just go. Fuck it. We're not even interested anymore. We're all moving over to Girl World. <laughs> You're going to have to do something quick, Alicia. Quick, hurry. Hurry DM me before your career is gone. No, you'll always have one. It'll just be like a cruise ship career. Have you ever heard that term, cruise ship career? You probably haven't. It's about, you know, like people who, you know, they're big stars at one point. But, you know, because they never kept up on anything, they end up singing on a cruise ship or, you know, that kind of thing. People think that'll happen to Jesse Smollett. That he'll end up being a cruise ship celebrity. He'll just, you know, 
end up cruise shipping it eventually and he'll have some fans and people will be like yeah that's that guy remember that's the guy who said that he was um attacked in chicago and he wasn't so i've heard that so you could do that alicia you could be a cruise ship celebrity i mean you can move on to your cruise ship era i mean at this point if you don't care i don't care you know what i mean <sighs> You know, just keep living over there, saying it's just cancel culture. It's just hate. While you watch your numbers go boom, you can just keep telling yourself, Alicia, oh, it's just hate. It's just hate, guys. Um, I'm different. People just don't like it, me being myself. And they want me to be fake, Alicia, like I was when I did back to school. Even though back then I said this was the real me. No, this is the real me. This is the real me. I saw on the snork reddit people were talking about Alicia. Which they always are. And they were saying how they think it's bullshit. And I think so too, Alicia. You need to cut this one out. Is how she likes to brag about being mean to her friend's boyfriends. Do you need assistance, sir? He made a noise again. Whenever he makes a noise, I'm like, do you need help, Philip? Do you need me to stop this camera and come over and help you? Because I will. I will shut that shit off and come right over. But anyways, yeah, so. Hold on, there you go, looking. Is it looking trashy? Or is it looking cute? I feel like I could put on some highlighter and it'll look cute. Oh my god, everybody's highlighter was so good last weekend at the... The... The, the uh, cheerleading competition. Oh my god, everybody. <laughs> Grand Nationals, like, highlight was so good. I, I keep thinking about everybody's highlight from that. <laughs> I'm like, everybody looks so pretty and sparkly, and I want to be pretty and sparkly too. <laughs> Makes me want to. If I knew it was going to be so sparkly, I would have put on some glitter for the event. <laughs> like, I should have. Like,. Oh my god, looks so much fun. So, anyways, what else? Oh. My NARS. I love how there's, like, gold. I've told you this, but I love the little gold flags. Look, guys, I've hit pan on this. Oh, no! Do you remember when people were obsessed with that? Like, using up their makeup and being like, I hit pan. Things I've hit pan on. And it's like, I hit pan on this over a year ago. Hitting pan on a on a on a makeup product, not a big fucking deal. I don't I don't get that. I'm like, so I still got a couple years to go. <laughs> like, what? Yeah. I always thought that was funny how they're like, I hit pan and I'm like, what? What? You 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 should shouldn't you be sad about that a little bit? I mean your product's going away. <laughs> yeah. All the trends, all the beauty trends that have happened over the years, just so people could get fucking views. Bailey Syrian doing fucking crime and makeup. I know people love that shit. People love her and they love her content. I don't know. I don't like it. Like, I get it. I'm talking about shit and everything. Well, I put my makeup on too. We're ragging on Alicia. We're talking about people who were international spies. We're talking about con artists. Talking about foodie beauty. Being graffitied onto that skyscraper in LA, which is so confusing to me. I need help figuring that out, people. Why is foodie beauty on a skyscraper in LA? Why? Why? She hates America. Remember the pumped up kicks? Remember what I told you guys about Pete's and Chantal? The how they believe that... I think I've been over this before, but this is an important thing for you guys all to know. If you've ever been a part of Gore World, okay? This is just, this is important. You need to know this, okay? So, Chantal used to live with Pete's, right? You guys all know who Pete's is, right? Pete's. Pete's. So... Pete's is very political, but his politics are not about his own homeland, Canada. Pete's loves to talk about America. 
Like, he lives here. Like, if you heard him talk, you would think he lives in New York. Like, I remember this, like, what was it? Like, a 20-minute rant uh, about how Republicans hate New York. Pete lives in uh, Ontario, Canada. He doesn't go here. She, he, he doesn't go here. Pete's doesn't go here. That's the other thing, too, about Pete's. This is a side story, another side story of the side story, but Pete's wants to be a woman, which is fine. Pete should be a woman. If Pete's feels like Pete's is a woman inside, be a woman. Live who you are. Be happy. Be yourself. But then don't in the same sentence go, yeah, but I'm too lazy to transition. I don't want to get the surgery. That's fine. People, surgery is scary, okay? I get that. But you don't even want to change your pronouns. Like, you don't need to change anything else. Anything else. People have said, you know, Pete, if you don't want to shave and everything, you just want to identify as a... Change your pronouns. Change your name. Like, we all said... I think Pete said that his mom would, would have named him Cassie if he was a girl, so he would go with that name. We'll all start calling you Cassie or whatever, or Cassandra or whatever it was, right? No. Pete says no. I'm too lazy to change my pronouns. I'm too cha I'm too lazy to change my name. I just don't feel like it. Even though I did I identify as a woman. It's too lazy to do. What? What? How is it this is who you are on the inside, but you're too lazy to do anything about it? Like, it's not that hard to say, call me she instead of he. You don't even have to do, you don't even have to move. You just have to move your mouth and audible some. Uh, I didn't get So, anyway, so Pete lives in Canada, right? And he loves to talk about American politics. Well, if you listen to Pete and Chantal enough, you would think that Canada and the United States were one country. Just one country. Just imagine no lines. Well, there is the border, but... Imagine that Canada and uh, the United States are two different countries, okay? But there is one caveat, and that there is a separation between Canada and the United States, and that when you're over in the United States part, you're in the general population part of the country, okay? So America and the United States to Pete's are the general population, okay? So here people don't have free health care. Here people get hit by pew pews, there are violence, there are riots. It might as well be a third world country if you listen to Pete's and Chantal. You would think that America was a third world country. And there was refugee status from people coming from here to Canada. I'm not kidding. Pete's tells a story about his mom before she, you know, decided to have children. And she decided, you know, I want to have children, but... I don't want to raise children in America because of gun violence and the healthcare system's fucked and, you know, it's just, it's not a good place to live. And so, Pizza's mom had the hard decision, was she going to immigrate to Australia or Canada for a better life for her children? And she chose Canada. She chose Canada. She, she Pete's acts like his mother is a refugee from the United States. Like a United States refugee, not like someone who came here. Whoa. <laughs> I poked my eye. Have you ever done that with the mascara? Ah. I'm blind. Well, I'm blind now in my eye. Can't go on. <laughs> I will survive. Frank, I need this. Any one of these. Sorry, Frank. Whenever I use the tissues. On my eyes when they're watering and I got makeup on. Look, see. <laughs> I always remember, um, do you remember, um, God, what was her name? She was on American Idol. Uh, the one who faked the plane crash, too. Oh my God, my eyes are dying now. Oh God. Damn it, her name's gonna bother me, and you're probably screaming it now while my eyes watering the. American Idol does. She was the one that was always kind of drunk. 
American Idol. You're probably screaming it. Hmm. Oh my god, why can't you show it? Oh my god! Do I have to go to Wikipedia? Of course. American Idol! I'm like, there's a floater. Okay. I always gotta fix my mascara a little bit on the bottom. Oh, just touch and go there for a second. Can you see how fucked it is now? Oh yeah, whenever I did, I remember what's her name crying on that reality show. No, I did not want that. They don't want me to know her name, apparently. Paula Abdul, holy shit, Paula Abdul, holy crap. Okay, we're gonna find that clip of her crying. I work my ass off. I always think of her using the tissues and she's crying, but she's got the tissues like literally in her eyes so that it doesn't, yeah. Remember that? That was a whole fucking reality show. The Paula Abdul show. Let's see. Reality show. Remember when she cried because they gave her too tight of pants to wear on the plane? And then she was drunk in an interview too. Damn it. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Oh my god! That's no, 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 that's probably copyrighted. No! It's all copyrighted. Fucking A. I'm going to. There's gotta be another one. Ah, whatever, fuck it. It's taking too long. This is taking too long. Fuck it. But yeah, remember she's crying, she's like, I work my ass off, Jerry. Yeah. That was fun. Okay. Let's fix this just a tad, shall we? Oh, yeah. Yes, brighten that shit up underneath there. Make it look like I'm awake when I'm not. Okay. Good enough, I guess. Good enough. Okay. Yeah. So let's see if I can do this without poking my fucking eye out again. Getting mascara all over the goddamn place. Okay. Okay, where is my eyeliner so I can fix this bottom part? But I probably shouldn't be putting eyeliner on my bottom eyelashes because, well, it smears. Crazy. But it's like I can't learn my fucking lesson. I just keep going back. Okay. I think that's good enough, right? I think it's good enough. So, yeah. That's today's vlog for you guys. I don't even know if I'm going to put my wig on for this. You guys are going to have to tune in for the next one. You know? 
Yeah, yesterday was totally one of those days. I should show you what I finished my t-shirts. I did. I finished my t-shirts. So before we go, I'll show you the shirt design I finished. Here's the design. I finished finally balancing out everything. Look at that shit. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Yeah. I'm trying to dry my, my setting spray here while I show you this, but yeah, isn't that cool? Yes. So yeah. Yeah, we got I got some different colors, but I got this shirt, this color, this color. I like this color. This is like a citron. It's like a yellow green citron. I think that looks pretty. This says it's like prismatic peach, I think, or is this the tan? No, this is the peach one. And then we got Heather Black, of course, but yeah. And then, oh, I also made a sticker. Now remember, this is a mock-up of the sticker, so it's got white artifacts in it. You see this white right here? Wait, those are like artifacts in it. So, because it's a mock-up, but it should come out good. really good, so yeah. I'm gonna have to order those along with the hats soon have the other stuff coming in so yeah i'm gonna end this vlog since i've been talking but i made up for yesterday apparently i made up for yesterday how to do the peter mon thing it just stopped and i'm like well i guess this is a great time to end the vlog the vlog's done i'm done i'm ready to go get my wig on so as always i'm sending you guys lots of love i'm gonna link my playlist below I watched a lot of shit on like plane crashes. I watched something on this YouTuber who used to fly planes and then they're saying she wasn't very trained well and she... I got some shit on that playlist for you. So until next time, I hope you guys have fun doing whatever you're gonna do until they see you in the next one. Bye guys.